Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will make online exam result at user side, in this online examination system by using PHP script. In previous some video tutorial, we have discussed topic on after exam started, and in that part, we have discussed how to load exam question, we have make question navigation, we have make examination timer, and lastly we have seen how user can give answer. Now once exam has been completed, then we have to make exam result of particular user, for this also, we have go to view exam.php file. And here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar exam status variable value is equal to, completed, this condition will be true, if exam has been completed, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to, select star from question table, inner join user exam question answer table, on user exam question answer table dot question id, is equal to, question table dot question id. In where condition, we have write question table dot online exam id is equal tom dollar exam id variable value and user exam question answer table dot user id is equal to dollar session user id variable value this select query will return particular user exam details like question and their answer data now we have write dollar result variable value is equal to dollar exam object with query result method this method will run query and return query execution result after this we have go to html code and here we have make one html table with table column like question option 1, option 2, option 3, option 4, your answer, correct answer, result and marks. Below this table, we have write dollar total mark variable is equal to 0. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from option table where question ID is equal to dollar row question ID variable value. This query will return option of particular question. Below this query, we have write dollar sub result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method. This method will return query execution result. Now we have define three variable like dollar user answer is equal to blank value, dollar original answer variable is equal to blank value and dollar question result variable is equal to blank value after this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row marks variable value is equal to zero if this condition true that means user has not attend particular question so under this block we have write dollar question result variable is equal to string like not attend. Same way, we have again write if statement, and under condition, 
we have right dollar row marks variable value is greater than zero, if this condition true, that means user has give right answer of particular question. So under this block, we have right dollar question result variable is equal to, heading for tag, with class is equal to, badge and badge success, with string right. And for check wrong answer, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar marks variable value, is less than equal to zero, if this condition true, that means user has give wrong answer. Under this block, we have write dollar question result variable is equal to, heading for tag, with class is equal to badge and badge danger, with text like wrong. So, it will store all question result in this variable. Now we have write echo statement, and in first column we want to print, question title details, so here we have write dollar row question title variable. For print question option details, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write, dollar sub result variable as dollar sub row variable. Under this loop, we have write echo statement, and for print question option details, here we have write dollar sub row option title variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar sub row option number variable value is equal to, dollar row user answer option variable value, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar user answer variable value is equal to, dollar sub row option title variable value. Here we have store option title, which has been select by user as an answer of question. Now, for get question correct answer, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar sub row option number variable value, is equal to dollar row answer option variable value. Under this block, we have write dollar original answer variable is equal to dollar sub row option title variable value. Here we have store question correct answer under this dollar original answer variable. Now, we have write echo statement, and under condition, we have write this HTML code. So, here we want to display answer, which has been select by user, so here we have write dollar user answer variable. After this, in next column we want to display question original answer, so here we have write dollar original answer variable value. Now in this table column, we want to display user has select right answer, or wrong answer or not attend particular question, for this here we have right dollar question result variable value. In last table column, we want to display marks of particular question, for this here, we have right dollar row marks variable value. It will print exam all question details in this table in HTML format. Now we want to print total marks details on we page, so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to, 
select some function with marks table column as total, from user exam question answer table. Where user ID is equal to, dollar session user ID variable value, and exam ID is equal to, dollar exam ID variable value, this query will return total marks of exam of particular user. Below this query, we have write dollar marks result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method. This method will return query execution result. For get data from dollar marks result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar marks result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, first we have paste this HTML code for display total marks details. And for print total marks details from dollar marks result variable, so here we have write dollar row total marks variable. It will print how many marks has been gained by particular user in online exam. So here our code is ready for display online exam result at user side. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends, here we have login at user side in online exam system. And for view exam result, we have to click on enroll exam link. After click on link, here on web page we can see exam in list, in which user has enroll, and here in each row of enroll exam list, here we can see view exam button, and each row we can also see the status of examination. We can only view this view exam button, if exam has been started, or completed, so here we can see all exam status has been completed, so we can see the result of this examination. For this, we have click on view exam button, and after click on button, we see a see exam result on web page, here we can see all question with their option. Here we can see all question, answer which has been given by user, and what is original answer of each question, we can see on web page. Here we can also see, marks of each question, in each of question, and below we can see total marks get by user in this examination. So in this part, we have make complete result of online examination, and display on web page, now we want to make this result in PDF format also, which we will discuss in next part. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.